I want to talk about repetition. So, hey guys, I wanted to welcome you to Maximus Strength Secrets. I am on here to just talk about strength topics with you guys. Um, one of the big things that I see a lot in the gym is constant changeover before we even get used to or good at one thing. So oftentimes we'll learn something new, like how to squat, how to lunge, how to bench press, how to overhead press, something new. And you just start dialing it in or you practice it for an entire session and then you don't do it again for weeks and weeks and weeks. And right when you think like you've got the hang of it, like you're switching things all the time or making things more complicated. So for example, like a combo of a squat overhead, overhead press while you're squatting. I even saw a guy one time doing a leg press and doing bicep curls at the same time. And I'm like, what is going on? Focus on one movement at a time, super important. Um, but when you do that and you're focusing on that one thing, it is really important to repeat it. Okay, so doing it over and over again. One of the biggest um, progress or progressions I've ever been through is when I had a program that I did for five weeks in a row. So the same workout on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday was always a rest day. And I did it every week for five weeks. And it was when I first started it, I was like, isn't this gonna be boring? Like, don't I need to change all the time? And my coach at the time was like, don't you like winning or seeing progress? or actually PRing, and I was like, yes. And they're like, it's not gonna be boring when you're winning or when you're progressing or when you're PRing. So true. So I dove headfirst into it. I wrote down, I had a little notepad. I wrote down every week what I did. So the weights that I used, the reps that I got. So if it was a, a Tabata or a timer, 30 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest, I wrote down 20 squats, right? Or if it was lunges, you know, nine each leg. Um, so I wrote down every round, every set, everything that I did, whatever I squatted, whatever I benched. And each week I would chip away at it. So whether it would be, um, and when I say chip away at it, I didn't necessarily always increase in weight. There was a time where I would repeat the same weight for two or three weeks in a row before increasing, but I would increase my execution. What I mean by that is, whether it be the depth of my bench press, right? We're able to get the dumbbells a little bit deeper um, or, you know, not have to lean back on an overhead press or I was staying more upright. I took video and I watched what I needed to improve. And each week I would improve on each thing. So by the time I was done with that five week cycle, I had increased 10 to 20 pounds on every movement. I got five to 10 rounds more of every rep when I would do the Tabata style um, workouts. And I, again, increased my range of motion. I increased um, just my ability to execute these certain movements. So I just want to get on here and say, don't shy away from repeating things. If you're on a program, you started a program, you want to repeat it for, the rule really is three weeks. You want to repeat something for at least three weeks. You can do more, um, but a three week wave or a three week cycle is a really great place to start if you want to repeat workouts. Um, and again, I can't express how beneficial it is when you start paying attention to a what you're doing how you're doing it uh, what weight you're using and proper execution of the movement this is a great way to dial it in hammer it down um, and really get good at what you're focusing on getting good at so big piece of advice repeat things over again again three week cycles of a certain movement um, is really great so don't shy away from repetition repetition is key